Hi there Wargamers, Dan Duffringer Kane here bringing you another unboxing. This time it's Devil's Run Route 666. Or Mad Max, pretty much that's what it is really. Or even Dark Future, which, which was pretty much Dark Mad Max. But anyway, post-apocalyptic post vehicle battle game. There we go. So we've got some fantastic artwork on the front there guys. Um, Look, continue the nice theme around the side. We've got a nice war rig, mm. Fury Road, perhaps maybe. Yeah, um, menacing guy on a bike. Uh, a guy enjoying a tea party there with a nice uh, tablecloth, and um, another bloke on a bike in a skirt. Anyway, so got some nice um, little display at the back to show you what you get inside. So, but we don't need it to look like that. But even so, we've got some. Um, nasty ladies on on bikes, um, look, look quite quite menacing. So let's cut the box open and have a look what's inside. So we start off. We've got a nice piece of artwork here. Um, of, I think there's actually, I have no idea what faction she's supposed to be from, but it's um, nice and um, iconic. She looks like she means business, uh, even though she's lost half a top. Um, next, we've got the um, what the actual road tiles are on. Nice. Bit of tiles. We'll just get rid of the box for, for, for a brief moment and let's have a look at these. So we've got double sided, nice thick cardstock, uh, nicely detailed there. We've got a nice uh, kind of um, pond, not the right word, but you know what I mean. Water feature, there we go. A, a water hazard or, or um, just a blood stained road with a bit of rubble there and there. So the next one, kind of like a T junction. Some more obstacles, the fallen tree there, and some, again, oh, they've got a uh, road here with a wall in the middle there to make life hard for you. Next we've got a, um, overgrown with the wrong word, blown over, um, obstructed, anyway, messy, it's got, it's got mud on the road, nicely, craters there, and, um, oh, danger mines apparently. And there we go, we've got the overpass with a fallen part of bridge there. Quite prove interesting to get by. Then lastly, we've got like a chicane piece, which is nice and interesting, and even well, even more of a chicane than a bridge. So, um, and so it looks like someone there didn't know where to go. Anyway, really nice artwork, guys. Um, so let's have a have a look what really interests us modelers. So we get get the packaging out of the way. We've got a nice, um, colourful rule book. We we'll have a quick. Flip through that in a second. Some um, nice bag of dice and counters. Minis, which we'll have a close look in a second. A coaster, because what we all need is a, is a coaster for our beers. Um, what's a mirroring of the uh, box art, even a um, bit of a spreading, spreading of cheeks there. So we've got a nice deck of cards, which we'll have a close look at them. And we've got some. Um, <clears throat> tokens, which will um, sure once you read the rule book will become apparent what they're for, nice and easy to pop out, which is always good. So no ripping of uh, tokens, and you've even got like a, an extra bonus um, tile in the box, being a bridge. So you've got some nice artwork there. In that Max's car, um, over end of the bridge, and that's quite a nice, tasty car there as well. So. Don't know if these are the vehicles I'm actually releasing, so let's um, see if I can get into these cards and we'll um, see where we're going. Ah! I'm already impressed with this the WordPress games already. They've got uh, one of those card things, so you get more uh, advertising with cheeks. Andy gets everywhere. So, what we've got is some nice zoom in, guys, so you can see what was going on. So, we've got Hall's Angels. Hmm. I take it that Hell's Angels must be, um, uh, what's the code? Trademarked? They managed to trademark themselves, being that can gangs do that. So we've got a Hell's Angels trike, Hell's Angels car, a law bike, two of those, a law buggy, a law car, ooh, pistols. And everyone's free. A Magnum, $500. Dual machine guns, ooh, flamers, harpoon. Oh, a gringo! Yeah. Some lovely artwork on these. Chief Matthews. Snake. Solid or, um. Hmm. Win Winiski? 
Oh God, P.T. Fingers McFrost. Is that a bloke or a woman? So we've got the Bullet, Doom, Slick Mick, ooh, Old Smokey. Kind of reminds me of someone from a certain program, that one. Ah, Nitro, an Oil Slick, Smoke Screen, an Airstrike, wow. Ooh, perfect driving weather, that's going to be nice. Got dust storms, cross winds, following wind, acid mist, earthquake, headwind. Oh, what a lovely day! Hmm, hmm, yes, yes, well, indeed. And we've got kickstart. So that's the cards looked at nice and lovely artwork there. Got no idea what's going on. So, so a quick look at the counters, and um, probably these look like bases for the bikes as well. So. Nice kept in a nice bag there. Oh, and you got love. Wish I had these when I was growing up. D freeze. For those people who can't subtract or divide. Oh, good roll. One each. So we've got some nice D6. Nice deep blue. Or purple. Is it a purple or a blue? I have no idea. Looks different on the camera than it does in, in, in real life, guys. Some nice bright orange D10s. Andy, have you been involved with this? Some orange counters. My 2D6 bloke gets everywhere. Some black counters, so God knows what these are for. And um, some looks like some acrylic bases to stop your bikes from falling over, probably. So it's really nice. So we've got some counters there. Nothing um, spectacular about these. I think they're almost like tiddlywinks. So that's the, we'll get those counters out of the way and we'll have a look at the actual miniatures. So, nice bits of resin. Yep, and I've just thrown them everywhere. So, you've got some nice chunky vehicles. Is that a flash? Yeah, so it was an antenna probably. So, guys, I'm just going to organise these and be back in just a moment. Right guys, this would appear to be the trike, and let's zoom in so you can actually see what we're looking at. Oh my, aim points off. Sorry guys. Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. You can see what's going on now. If I shade slightly bit of light. This looks like to be like a motorised trike, free wheel type thing with a, a little machine gun turret. Which looks really nice and tasty. Good gun up there. Loads of flash, but I'm sure it'll clean up very easily. Got another two bikes here. Look very, very samey. In fact, they may actually be just carbon copies. Not the end of the world, but would have been nice if it would be different. Got another two bikes. Looks like they've um, either broken off a sprue or something. Looks like um, kind of a modified version of the Chips uh, TV show bikes. Like an American law bike, hence law bike, which is ah, I get it now, guys. Then we've got some of the slightly bigger things. We've got the um, law buggy. It's a really nice little detail there. Nice little engine things. Even a bit on bit of detail underneath. And look at that tire tread, guys. It's lovely. We've got a uh, space for the turret. Which I can't stick on just right now because a big chunk of flash. Nice miniguns there. Next we've got like um, the Hall's Angels, um, it's like an old, old um, is it fifties or sixties car? Looks like a real monstrous hot rod. And they've got some really huge wheels here with. Some nasty, oh, there we go. Nasty, nasty looking spikes. Again, there's a gorgeous tread there. Obviously, there's uh, two sets of them and double, double space wheel or whatever they're called. Then we've got the law car, which reminds me of like a vehicle uh, you use for the Paris Dakar. Loads of detail, loving that um, little mesh on the window. Spare tyres, 
and looks like some kind of air intake on top there or sirens perhaps I don't know looks mainly like it means business that one so then also we've got the um, all the little riders for the bikes nice tiny things so let's see if we can get them in focus Gonna focus on us. A bit further, out, unfortunately, guys. There we go. We get some shade on there, so the looks really nice. So one little mean guy. Another one there. Please help. It. Another um, spiky dude. Guy with a pistol there with a nice bearded fellow and long hair. They've got a police guy with a pistol as well, so that's where the bikes look nice and slightly different. So, guys, I'm going to go away and assemble these, and then I'll be back in a second to show you off fully assembled and uh, give my closing thoughts. Alright, guys, back in a second. Welcome back guys um, for, to the Devil's Run unboxing. I've uh, got the models assembled finally. Uh, first we're going to have a look at the um, Hall's Angels guys, what are fully assembled. And um, all the f nasty nasty flash taken off now. Now um, the wheels on the this, this vehicle were a bit um, miscast to be honest. Uh, but it wasn't enough to warrant me um, trying to get him replaced. Because I couldn't be arsed to be honest. Um, I managed to hide um, an air bubble in the tyres um, in, on the inside where you can't see it, so um, no harm, no foul. Um, loads of detail here to paint up. I, I'm loving the look of this car. Looks really barbaric. Looking badass. And like, um, what's then? And then there's a trike with a flame on the back with some. Punk, uh, punk guys looking at it on, on it. Sorry, it's, oh. really nice. Not too, not too difficult to put together. There was an awful lot of flash on the guys and things like that, uh, but it's still cleaned up with a hobby knife. Yeah, the um, one of the bikers. You got two of those. Different uh, torsos, uh, but other than that. Um, identical models and then there's the law we've got the law buggy with his uh, twin um, uh, miniguns really nice model there I'm loving the detail on the tyres though then we've got two bikes again same again uh, identical bikes just uh, different torsos uh, for the riders now um one downside the handle uh, bar that was supposed to come out here broke off on this one um was a bit flimsy um couldn't um the pre broken off on this one for to account because they account for the hands so you've got two bikers and then you got the law car which is really somewhat spectacular i think this one is so i really like this one like something out of um, Paris Dakar on um, Mad Max. So it's a real nice off road vehicle with lots of armour there and big um, air intakes and lots of mesh over where the windscreen is. Looking really nice. So that's the models, guys, and that's been Devil's Run. Um, I think it's well worth a look. Um, obviously, the, the models have the, the, their issues, but. Um, <clears throat> Nothing a good hobbyist can't sort. Um, also, one of the things reading through the rule book, the, re the main reason why they, they chose the scale they did is because of uh, this. So you can get your toy cars and add a bit of a bit of um, do a bit of conversion work at once on this one. I don't think there's much needed because I got I saw this in a, in a shop and I thought I'm having that. I thought, this is what I bought this a while ago. And, um, people on the Facebook page may have seen some other cars I've, I'd converted up for a, um, a, a Mad Max style racing game I was thinking about doing. Um, but all in all, guys, 
looks really interesting game to play. I can't wait, I can't wait to play, give it a play. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, see you around, guys. Bye bye.